All right, we are Hiro Miyamoto. We are a dude who runs a dojo, I guess. Talk to me. The virus is spreading extremely fast. My parents were victims of the virus. If only a vaccine were available. Because Mishima owns everything, anger grows on a daily basis. But no one can resist Mishima, because Mishima monopolizes all rights to the vaccine. Master Hero, we need to be stronger. Strong enough to end Mishima's fear politics. Yay. So let's go this way. We need to save the Dagatana or something. So yeah, my friends... Oh, just a second. I used up all my resources searching for the Daikatana. But a descendant of the Mishimas, his name is Kage Mishima. Kage got ahead of me. So there is Mr. Kage. He's hiding behind there. Those guys are just walking around. I guess for going for a romantic stroll on Mount Fuji. Another gun. And he can get the Daikatana. <laughs> There's not really much to say about this. But all the cutscenes are in black and white. It makes everybody hard to tell apart. <laughs> looks kind of funny. He has the Daikatana! Oh no! But Mishima anticipated, anticipated my discovering the Daikatana. Wait. What? I don't know. Okay, so my friends give me a hard time for liking this, because I tell them... Daikatana for the Game Boy is fun, and I just figure, Daikatana? That game sucked. But I'm like, no! The Game Boy version's an action RPG! My ancestor, Tatsuo Ebihara, was creating a cure for this awful virus. Yes, there is a cure for the horrible virus that's spreading throughout the world. Armor! There's not very much armor in the game. It's hard to keep. Sadly. It's... I'll keep the, the katana. Um, I'll go over here, push the buttons. So that's his ancestor working on the vaccine. He's going to stab him! Tetsuo worked so hard and finally finished the vaccine, but Kage Mishima stole it by abusing the power of the Daikatana. That means our history was changed by Kage Mishima. We have to defeat Kage, and change history back as it should be. Oh no, time traveling sword, and virus, and purple ninjas. No! No! No? Why no? Oh, the ninja exploded. Hero, I have one more favor to ask you. Don't talk, your wounds may open. I know that I'm dying. The virus has torn down my body. Hero, please do me a favor. Please save my daughter, Mikiko. She's crept into Mishima's fortress, but she has not come back yet. Please, get into Mishima's Kyoto fortress and save her from Kage. Please. Slump. You got a hologram of Mikiko. Yay. Now let's go save Mikiko and the Daikatana. Get there from the swamp. In the PC version, he pretends he's dead, and for some reason, bodies are shipped to Kage's fortress. But in this one, he just lives right next to to Kage. How convenient. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, action RPG. Um, well, it's not an RPG in like the strict sense. You don't really level up as you kill things. You only level up at the end of boss battles. So it's kind of like Metal Gear Solid that way. Actually, the game sort of, kind of reminds me a little bit of Metal Gear, but there's not really very much sneaking. This is Mishima's fortress. Mikiko's traps trapped somewhere inside. Oh no! Ooh! Well, that's an efficient security system. Just destroy the bridge. Whee! You got a cartridge for the arm blaster. Looks like the door's closed. Have to go home now. Locked. Oh well, we tried. Oh, who is that? It's a ghost. And he zapped the electronic panel. What the hell was that? The door is open now. We can kill things. Umbrella! Okay, no umbrella. 
Also, as a note, if you're watching purely for the Let's Play and you're not familiar with the rest of my stuff, I am a girl. So, you know, just to clarify that, I get- sometimes I get comments on videos where it doesn't actually show me. People are like, you shouldn't post any more videos until your balls drop. I'm like, well, that would be never, and that would make me sad, because then I could never post videos. But, yeah, so I'm a girl with a deep voice, so, meh. <laughs> oh, oops. Stop that. Okay. I guess I could try to make my voice girly. I could be like a girl. Do I sound like a girl now? Let's push two switches. Oh no! There's some puzzles in this game. A lot of them are like, randomly search around until you find stuff. Die! More ion blaster cartridges. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Sorry if you can hear the keyboard, my friend Dodo is borrowing my 360 controller. Alright, so first floor. Open that door. And open this door. Let's go down this way first. Well, that's an intelligent card. Oh, <laughs> robot, no! No! Okay, robots are hard to kill. <laughs> Ow. Let's talk to this dude. Push four buttons in the correct order, and the door should open. The order was three, one... I'm not sure of the order after that. He has a great memory. Unlike some people. I remember what the, the uh, combination was. I'll save the day. No! Yay! I killed him. So there are going to be a lot of different weapons in this game too, so that's kind of neat. The main thing is though, in the different chapters, you don't get any more ammo for the old weapons, so you basically have to do with like a certain two or three weapons per chapter. Purple Ninja! Ha ha ha. Three, one, two, four. Over here? Ion Buster Cartridge. Up here? Hey, can you hear me? Are you alright? Who are you? I really don't care who you are. Help me, please. If you do, I can lend you a hand. I can be freed by the access card when you get the card. Insert it into the console in the next room to free me. That was a little redundant. Oh, look at him for a minute. He's so cute wiggling around in the chair. Looks like an electric chair, though. So, let's kill the robot. Open the grate. And get the key card. Security card. I think it's funny how the security system just doesn't care once you get the card. It's, eh, I'll turn off the security system. Here, we'll use the security card. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video, and we'll return here later. See ya!